What's up guys and welcome back to part 17 of this Mercedes minibus campervan conversion. So in today's episode I'm going to be concentrating on trying to get the overhead lockers built that are going to be sitting above the sofa bed on this side and above where the kitchen area is going to be on the passenger side as well. I'm going to get all of the cupboards in place and then once they're in place I'll then try and get all of the PVC cladding attached to all of the ceiling area as well. I've been out and bought some of the white PVC cladding with the chrome strips going down the middle as well. So if you're looking for similar sort of things that I'm going to be fitting, check the description of the video below. There'll be links going out to eBay where I've bought this particular cladding from. So if you're looking for the similar sort of stuff yourself, check the links below and that's where I've got this stuff from. So it should be relatively easy to build up for the cupboard. So I'm just going to be putting some strips of wood going down. They'll be getting secured to these angle braces of the roof, just so they're going to be nice and secure and sturdy. Then they'll have some cladding put on the inside, the wood cladding on the sides, and some PVC cladding on the roof, again, just to make the cupboards look nice and neat when they're finished. And then I've got some of the attachment cladding strips, the fitment strips, and they'll be getting butted up against the cupboards once they're in place, just so it'll give a nice, neat finish and the cladding will just basically flow all the way through the interior. So let's get cracked on. I'm going to get some tools out, some safety gear out, get some of this wood cut down for the cupboards themselves. Once the cupboards are done, we'll get the cladding on and hopefully we'll be able to get it all finished within this episode. So let's get cracked on, get some safety gear out, some tools out and see how much we get done for the day. Right guys, so there's the first side of the cupboards, fully complete, fully secure as well. They aren't going anywhere at all, as you can see. Good shake, nothing at all. Now they are going to get painted, they're going to have some access doors, and I'm going to put a little bit of angle trim along the bottom and sides, just to hide away the mounting screws as well. But that's looking nice and neat, provides plenty of additional storage above the sofa bed area. So now I'm going to do exactly the same above where the kitchen area is going to be be another full length cupboard running the entire length of the passenger side of the vehicle so let's get cracked on get that one put in place then when the cupboards are finally done we can start doing some of the pvc cladding 
but it's come along quite nicely. Quite happy with how that one's turned out. So, rinse and repeat, let's get the other one done. So it's the next day. I spent yesterday all day constructing and installing the overhead cabinets on both the passenger and the driver's side. Now they obviously do need a lick of paint and some doors putting on but I needed to get these in place so I can then put the supports for the PVC cladding butted right up against both of the uh, overhead cabinets and then that will give a nice flowing uh, support area for the PVC cladding to get fitted into. So now the overhead cabinets are in place, I'm going to get this PVC cladding out. As I say, get some of the supports put in place first, up against the cabinets, and I'll also be putting one roughly round about here where there's a bit of a recess on the fiberglass in the original fitting as well. So we'll get some of these supports in place, get some of the PVC cladding out, get cut down, and hopefully by the end of this video we'll have both overhead cabinets in place and all the PVC cladding fitting as well. So let's get cracked on and see how far we can get on with this for the day.
right guys so progress is coming along quite nicely that's all of the PVC cladding with the chrome strips up in the living area I've put a cut around for the surround for the skylight as well and the skylight surround covers all of this area nicely as well so with all of the PVC cladding up with the uh, LED down lights fitted in as well they're not wired in yet I've just ran the cabling over to that corner in the meantime and that'll get done at a later time but it's looking nice and neat especially with the overhead cabinets as well so it's a good weekend's work so far and I've still got a couple of hours left and I was going to do a similar sort of thing in the back bedroom area as well again it's cupboard spanning that side and another one above that window as well I didn't think I'd get time to get started on these this weekend but I've still got a few hours left plenty of daylight so I'm going to crack on and start doing these cupboards as well whether I get the cupboards and the cladding up as well I don't know, there's only about two or three hours of daylight left. But I've been cracking on quite nicely so far, so as I say, while we're in the mood, I might as well do a bit more in the bedroom, try and get these overhead cabinets fitted in here as well. And then once those cabinets are in, I can then get the cladding up as well. So it's coming along quite nicely, looking nice and neat. So let's get cracked on and try and get that uh, bedroom cabinets done as well. Right guys, so that'll do it for this week's episode. It's been a productive weekend, got quite a lot of jobs done. So I've got both of the overhead cabinets in the living area done, and I've just finished off the bedroom locker cabinets as well. I haven't got the PVC cladding up here, I've just started putting a couple of the uh, supporting runs in, but I've just run out of time, it's starting to get a bit too dark now, so I'm gonna call it for this week. Well, as I say, that's not a bad weekend's job, that. I've got all the PVC cladding in the living area. I've got five of the LED lights mounted in the PVC cladding as well. And as I say, if you're looking for this PVC cladding with the chrome strips, or even just the plain white, have a look in the description below. There'll be links going across to eBay where I've bought all the cladding that I've been fitting in this conversion. So, I hope you found this uh, week's update useful and helpful. If you did, consider giving it a good old thumbs up pop back next week there's going to be another update next week as well hopefully next week i'll be able to finish off the cladding in the bedroom area and if i get that all done and i'm gonna to have to put some cutouts for the whirl events on the roof as well if i get all that done then i might start doing some of the electrics or start assembling the kitchen area one or the other there's still plenty of little jobs to start ticking off with so there's still going to be plenty more updates to come on a week by week basis so as i say i hope you found the video useful Thumbs up if you did, especially if you made it all the way through to the end of the video. And hopefully, I'll see you on next week's episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers.